Lisa Simpson is currently the longest running representation for vegetarians in TV, having turned to vegetarianism over 25 years ago. <gasps> now, with the plant-based diet industry seeing stellar growth, and the rise of environmentally focused veganism, the call for more positive media representations of vegans has increased. Over 28,000 fans have signed a petition calling for showrunners to make Lisa a vegan, claiming it would take her compassion for animal rights one step further. So why hasn't Lisa already turned vegan, and why is the answer a perennial issue for long-form series? Let's take a look at the key barriers to Lisa's potential vegan transition, starting with the narrative structure of the series. With over 700 episodes, The Simpsons faces the gradual issue of long-form episodic content, where the dwindling potential for character development leads to characters feeling stagnant and stable. I guarantee it! Fans and critics have highlighted this phenomenon in the series, coining the term Zombie Simpsons to differentiate between the original characters and their current zombies, who act as caricatures of their former selves. I refuse to believe that someone can't change for the better, even though I can't think of a single example of that ever happening. This means that where Lisa made the turn to vegetarianism in Season 7, and Buddhism in Season 13, we've now spent over 20 seasons receiving no major changes to her character, making it difficult to anticipate another regardless of whether or not it's long overdue. The series also utilises a fictional device known as the floating timeline, where the characters never age in a world that continues to stay updated with societal changes. Mark Zuckerberg, you get out of here! Even though veganism has gained more visibility as a socio-cultural movement in recent decades, this doesn't put Lisa under any obligation to go alongside it. It ultimately creates a disconnect from characters, where it feels like the world is moving on without them, and it's in this space that we find Lisa Simpson constantly advocating for current progressive causes, and always needing another obstacle to overcome. Having now become a stable zombie character, the current Lisa seems destined to forever advocate for current progressive causes, struggling to enact change in a world that continues to move on without her. Oh. Where do you think you're going, Missy? Dad! The next barrier to a vegan transition is imposed by the different modes of comedy employed in the series. Through the lens of the comic and satirical frames, established by literary theorist Kenneth Burke, we can see that showrunners use strategic comic framing to laugh not at Lisa, but at the ineptitude of those who oppose her, which are typically stubborn or indifferent authority figures. Noted by Professor Carrie Freeman, this mode of comedy serves as a social corrective towards her vegetarianism, where audiences are made aware that Lisa is morally correct, but she must endlessly battle against anti-intellectualism to make her point. Lisa, go to your room. On the other hand, the series satirically frames all vegans to ridicule them as crazy activists, who care too much about their ideologies to the point of absurdity. Forgive us for this violation, Mother Fence. We honor your chain link spirit. Since we know that Lisa's arguments towards vegetarianism are morally sound, vegans simply appear to be unrealistic and extreme in their methods and goals. Additionally, vegan characters often look down upon Lisa, implying that she's not already doing enough to save the planet. That's why I'm a vegetarian. Well, that's a start. Uh, well, um, I was thinking of going vegan. This pits audiences against vegans in favor of Lisa, since she is repeatedly shown to be one of the few citizens of Springfield attempting to incite meaningful change. We laugh at vegans, but we don't laugh at Lisa. We laugh at the obstacles she faces as she struggles to better the world around her, but Lisa is rarely presented as an extreme of her ideals. For you, Dad, I consider that a victory. Mm -hmm. If Lisa were to turn vegan, showrunners would have to dance around the conflicting satirical representation of vegans as comic extremes and the comic framing around Lisa that depicts her as the moral truth of the series. The final barrier to a vegan transition is the acquisition of veganism by vegetarians, and the elements of this practice. The largest common ground for vegans and vegetarians in the series is the constant mocking of all plant-based diets, where vegetarian and vegan foods are depicted as gross, disgusting, or even anger-inducing to carnists. And the falafel is making him angrier! <laughs> but even though Lisa still consumes cheese and dairy, it's not like these are major elements of her identity. As an animated character, it would be simple for showrunners to remove these elements from her diet, which suggests that her identity as a vegetarian is actually an important distinction from the identity of vegans in the series. Well, we might have an opening at the poser level. Oh, thank you, thank you! And even though animals talk directly to Lisa through dreams and visions, pleading for her not to bring them further harm by eating them, she still consumes cheese and dairy. This indicates that her vegetarianism may simply be a statement about animal cruelty, 
rather than a statement about animal rights. Meanwhile, when it comes to environmental activism, vegans talk the talk, but we really only get to see Lisa walk the walk, which plays into cynical views held by showrunners. We sell out our environmental characters like that. If that's our comic take on all movements, they suck. This could ultimately imply that showrunners don't view Lisa's vegetarianism as part of a movement, but as a balance between both ignorant carnists and comically extreme vegans to create a reasonable middle ground between the two conflicting dietary ideologies. We're encouraged to sympathize with Lisa because she cares more than carnists, but she's more reasonable in her expectations and beliefs than vegans in the series. So while it's not unreasonable that Lisa could make the change to veganism, showrunners would have to engage with self-imposed barriers that currently prevent Lisa from transitioning to veganism in the long run. And, if Lisa were to turn vegan, would she become more extreme with her views? Would vegans become less extreme? Or would she simply be expanding the middle ground?